لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك About more than 2 million Muslims from more than 80 countries journey to the holy seat of Mecca each year to make the spiritual pilgrimage now as such. Really, this is a blessed journey to the house of Allah which was built by our Prophet Ibrahim and his son Ismail alayhi salam. The pilgrimage is one of the five pillars of Islam that form the framework of Islamic life. All Muslims who are physically and financially able are expected to make or to perform Hajj at least once in a lifetime. May Allah make us easy to go and perform Hajj at least once within our family. In a word. Peace be upon you, Allah is mercy and the blessing. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Who am I? I'm the bearer of Islam. I'm the guidance for mankind. I'm the miracle of the messenger. I'm the remedy for all illnesses. Wow, I'm the light in the month of Ramadan. I'm the diamond of a believer. I'm the treasure of a righteous person. I'm the fruit of a sire. Sure, I'm the traction for a listener. I'm the reviver of the heart. Of course, I'm the teacher of an illiterate person. I'm the companion of a statue. I'm the sheep for who sleeps in the lost past. I'm the comfort of a distressed person. I'm the advocate of him who is remembering me. I'm the neglector of any recital. I'm the witness of a Jerusalem. I'm the key to the heavens. I'm the frequency of the peace of paradise. I'm the preventer from the hellfires. I'm the reminder for the life hereafter. Who am I then? Yes, it is I. The, the glorious, glorious Holy Quran. Quran. Fasting. Fasting on this day is an expiration for two years. So, let us all fast on the day of Arafah. Fasting is one of the best years. It's sunnah for the Muslims to fast on the 59 days of Dhul Hajj. So, let us all fast on the day of Arafah. The Messenger of Allah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa was asked about fasting on the day of Arafah and he said it is compensated for the sins of the previous year and the coming year. So, so let us all fast on the day of Arafah. It's the day of forgiveness and sins, freedom from the hellfires and the bride and the people who are there. So, let us all fast on the day of Arafah. There is no day in which Allah frees more people from the fire than the day of Arafah. So, so let, let us all fast on the day of Arafah. Eid Mubarak. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, Eid al Adha is an Islamic festival to commemorate Prophet Ibrahim's willingness to follow God's command to sacrifice his only son, Prophet Ismail. Although he was a good man and loved his son, his faith and devotion to God was strong enough that he would accommodate God's request. Ibrahim's willingness to sacrifice his own son for God caused to spare his son's life, and a lamb was sacrificed in his place. A Muslim must pronounce Allah's name before sacrifice sheep and make sure it is of certain age and in a good health. Eid al Adha is a festival of sacrifice sheep, cow, goat, buffalo, or camel is sacrificed in the name of God. The meat from sacrifice is divided into three portions a side for family, a side for friends, and a side donated to the poor. It is customary for Muslims to mark the, by the occasion by giving away the gifts, wearing the clothes, visiting family and friends. Eid Mubarak. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Eid al Adha is a religious festival celebrated by Muslims all over the world. Eid al Adha means the feast of sacrifice. It usually starts with Muslims going to the mosque for prayers, dressing their best clothing, and thanking Allah for all the blessings they have received. The high point of the day is a large feast, when families come together and share meat among friends, neighbor, and the poor. In some Muslim traditions, gifts are also given to children. Eid al Adha is celebrated on the last day of the Hajj each year. The Hajj is a holy pilgrimage that millions of Muslims make to Mecca every year. They tell Allah what they are thinking and how. For Him to help them, as well as remembering Ibrahim and Ismail courage and devotion to God. Muslims the world over are encouraged to make pilgrimage to Mecca and celebrate. Min al Dear my brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Let's see five facts about Eid al Adha. Eid al Adha is also known as the Feast of Sacrifice or Greater Eid. It is the major Islamic festival that takes place at the end of the Hajj. Hajj is the pilgrimage to Mecca. It is the fifth pillar of Islam and therefore an important part of the Islamic faith. 
The Hajj or pilgrimage were simply white clothes called Lehran, which promote the bonds of Islamic brotherhood and sisterhood by showing that everyone is equal in the eyes of Allah. It Allah had come emirates when Allah appeared to Ibrahim in a dream and asked him to sacrifice his son as an act of obedience. As Ibrahim was about to do so, Allah stopped him and gave him a run to call instead. Muslim remember this occasion, so donating and gifting me to the poor, needy, friends and family. A version of the stories also appears in Torah and in the Bible's Old Testament. During Eid al-Adha, Muslims attend prayer server at a masjid. They also personally greet or send Eid cards to family members and friends and give gifts to children. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Peace of Allah be upon you, Allah's mercy and blessing. How to perform Hajj step by step? The first step, how to prepare for Ihram. Comb your hair, trim your beard, cut your nails, and cut your body hair. Take a bath with the intention of Ihram, or you can just perform wudu. Have a bath and prone the Ihram. Pray to Raka and Nafil. Proclaim the Niyar intention for Hajj. Make Tawaf al Kaaba. Pray to Raka and Yir Makab Ibrahim. Drink Zamzam water. Perform Sak. Recite Talbiyah al Kali. Go to Mina before Zuh. Offer Zuh, Ask, Maghrib, and Asia in Mina. Eid Mubarak. In the second day of the Hajj. Second day of Hajj, you are in Mina. Stay overnight in Mina. Pray Fajr in Mina. Then go to Arafa. Pray Zuh and Ask in Arafa. Stay in Arafa till Sensei. But don't pray Maghrib. Go to Muzdalifa after sensing. Pray Maghrib and Desha combined. Pick up 17 pebbles or very small stones at Muzdalifa and stay there overnight of possible. Pray Fajr in Muzdalifa as the day of the Eid, then go to Mina. Eid Mubarak. In the third day of the Hajj, after pray Fajr, go to Mina. Go to Jamrat al Akba, throw seven pebbles, sacrifice animal, cut hair or shave hair, remove Ihram and raise normal clothes, go back to Masjid. At Haram, make the Wafa the Father of Ziara, pray to Rakaanir Makai Ibrahim, drink Zamzam war, go back to Mina, stay overnight in Mina. Eid Mubarak. In the fourth day of Hajj, after Dhuhr, go to all three Jamra. First Jamra, Jamratul Ula. Second Jamra, Jamratul Usta. Third Jamra, Jamratul Akbar. After three Jamra, you must stay in Mina. In the last day of the Hajj, before sunset, leave Mina for Makkah to perform the last Tawaf. Before leaving Makkah, you must perform Tawaf al wada May Allah accept your Hajj. Eid Mubarak. Ya Allah makes us obedient to commands and in the Sunnah of our Holy Prophet. And guide Ummah talks us in this world in a hereafter. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, The best time to make dua is on the day of Arafah. Please make dua for your family and for other people.